I keep turning my neck here, gentlemen. Um, here's, here's a question. If you're elected, what's the impact you think you can make? What is it you want to do? Uh, as a council member, I'd like to definitely improve our political climate and uh, communication amongst the council. My goal is to work with Mayor Ketcher and my fellow council members. Um, I have not been caught up in the turmoil the past few years, so those aren't barriers to overcome for me. Uh, being retired, I have time spent talking to my people in the I represent and addressing the problems they have. And uh, I'm just a phone call away. And let me turn to Joe. Same question. Well, I, you know, I believe in hard work. I, I'm a consensus builder and a problem solver my entire life. I have been. Uh, I help manage a business that is similar in size, scope, and complexity of the city. And uh, I like to bring those same abilities to the city council and work work with the city. Now the question here is your vision for the city. I mean, if you were, let's say, uh, in Omaha, and you're going to the airport and you mentioned Miami, mm -hmm. and the first thing you know is that I think you're mispronouncing the one that's southeast of us, as someone was teasing me one day. Okay. But if they said Miami, well, what's the vision you give them that they can visualize and take with them? Okay, I, I'd say work with, work with existing businesses, economic growth. I'd also look at that was just mentioned earlier, the strong re a strong retail base, which is what you need. And I want to see Miami thrive, and that happens with everybody working together towards the same goal. That's what I see. All right, well, Neil? I, I just, I want a nice small community that's safe for all of our families and plenty of uh, activities for our children. Uh, more jobs. Uh, I'm hoping that Anybody wants a job, it's available. Uh, I just want a community we, we're proud of to call home. Uh, I just want to make my attractive so people who won't live here. Now, since we've got time here, for those who are watching maybe on, a, on the video that's played, I teach American government here. So both of you take turns here. Explain how the city government works. Is this, this is a two-year term. It's obviously it's a strong mayor or a strong city manager. Educate those watching who may not know how does the, the city government work. Well, we kind of do a tag team on this, <laughs> if we can. Well, the city council members are three-year terms. Uh, we do have a city manager form of government, and I do believe in that city, uh, city manager uh, form. Uh, I don't think we can go back to for lack of a term, good old boy network. Uh, I just don't think that's, we have to have a city manager that is a businessman, because it is a business, and it's got to be run that way. I mean, no Tulsa here. I mean, that's you no know, just the opposite over there, right? You hear that all the time. Uh, I, I you. agree with what Neil's saying. I, uh, I think it's, you know, it, it is, you've got to run like a business. You, we have a strong, uh, city manager, you hire someone like we mentioned earlier that has experience and uh, that works well with other people and that works well with the council and, and uh, that's that's what I believe. I, I, just, I believe in that that format. Give us some specifics when you talk about a city manager. You're looking for somebody who's got who's strong on numbers or budgeting or what are the? I think they have to be strong in all those areas. I think. Uh, I think. One of the big, one of the most important areas is working well with other groups, working well with people. And, uh, but he got, that, that person also has to be a numbers person. Mm -hmm. But he has to also have good people around him to rely. And there's a lot of good people we have here in the city. And we're losing one of them. We're losing one real good one. Yes, we are. Why is that? <laughs> uh, okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you've got friends here who know you well, but some people may not. What are you called? Tell us who you are. Yeah, I, I, I worked at Goodrich in production and supervisory uh, 
accusations. Uh, I returned to Miami a few years ago and I've had the privilege to serve on several city boards, including the City Planning Commission where I presently serve as Vice Chairman and uh, I'm also on the Street Oversight Committee. I also have been a volunteer board member of my Main Street organization, uh, which assists downtown business with economic de development issues. Uh, I was born and raised here. Hmm. Joe? On. Well, give us, uh, I don't want to turn this into a job, I guess, you know, what are your qualifications? It's kind of, it's, it's kind of a job interview, isn't it? At least, you know, we showed up. We <laughs> showed up. At least I showed up. But uh, no, I'm born and raised here, and uh, born in the northeast, northeast part of town, 2306 Northeast. My youngest son, and uh, they live over there now. And It's, uh, you know, I'm proud of the city and I want to see, I want to see, there's a lot better things that can happen here than what's happening now with some of the current people in office. And uh, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of, of helping that happen. And uh, like I said, I've, I've done anything from t-ball to wrestling to rotary to, uh, you know, Working with kids, driving a church bus. Uh, this, this is my town, and uh, I'm proud of it. Jeff, let me draw you out a bit here, because otherwise I'm going to run out of things, right? And what I'm wondering is, you know, a lot of folks, I'm sure you've heard this, will say, oh, city government, it's meetings in the evening. You're going to have to go out on, on the, well, there may not be any more cold evenings, but you have to go out in the evening. What makes you, what tells you in your gut, you know, I, I want to devote my time? I, you could stay home. What tells me is that I feel like, I, be, I believe, I believe that I can make a positive difference with the skills that I have accumulated over the years and what I do and what I, who I've worked with to bring, a, make a positive difference to my life, to this city, working with Mayor Catcher and other council. Neil? What was the question? It's not on the list. It's not on the list. But you already know the answer. You already know the answer. A lot of folks, I've covered a lot of meetings, and think, I, you know, who wants to go out to a city council meeting? And what, what makes you say in your gut, you know what, I want to be out there to deal with those problems instead of... Uh... Me, I, I like uh, interaction with people. Uh, uh, example, going out door to door campaigning has, has been a real education for me. Uh, I love that aspect of it. Uh, that's probably the main reason I'm driven to do this, mm. is being involved with the people. I once sold a fuller brush. You know, does that still exist? I had to go door to door. <laughs> I was scared to death the first night. Then I realized they were more scared of me. So. Take turns. Tell the folks, what's it like when you knock on, you both knocked on doors? So far, it's, I mean, it's, it's a, talking to a few people out there, I mean, we've talked to a number of people about signs, knocking on the doors, visiting with them, and phone calls. Uh, it can be a little, you know, be nervous some of the time, but I think once you really get out there and start visiting with the people, it's 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 a good thing. I mean, I've, I've talked to a number of people, and... Uh, there's been some very good conversations, and it's, it's been a good experience. And when you feel when they open the door that, you know, they want to hurt, they want to shut the door, or what do you do? And no, I, mean, I haven't really had that that much. I haven't had anything like that. Uh, maybe some of them haven't come to the door. Uh, you know, <laughs> but, uh, but most of the time they do come, or I go back and knock them in until they do. Short answer is experience. Uh, I, like I said, I, I've enjoyed the conversations I've had meeting the people that I haven't met before. Uh, some of them are very well informed, uh, to my surprise in some instances. 
but uh, it, it's uh, like I said, that's the most political thing I believe I've done. My first campaign, I kind of learned as I go. Yeah. I had, you know, I've been blessed with some some guidance, and uh, I think the biggest thing is personal. I mean, you knock on those doors, you call those people, you talk to them, you, you let them know what you stand for, what what, what you're there for, and what you what you're there to do, what you want to do for the city. The media, of course, always focuses on national issues. But local government, and this is what you're trying to tell everybody, this is the government closest to the people in the room here, right? How do you get them more interested in what you what you so much care about? Well, you, you have to tell them about the issues that's facing our city and, and what direction they want to go in. Uh, do they want to keep the same as they have, or do they want something different? Uh, all you can do is ask them to get out and cast their vote. Uh, it's the best you can do. Is it hard to say to somebody, have you said to somebody, vote for me? Yes. Is that hard to do? At first, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it got easier. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph? You live in Ottawa County and Ward 4. You live in Ward 4, Southeast Ward 4. I appreciate your vote if you do. <laughs> <laughs> and not only your vote, would you go get a friend, someone else within that ward? I appreciate their vote too, your support. They really, have to, they really have to put themselves out there. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> you want to make a closing statement? Yeah. All right. First, I'd like to uh, thank my wife and my wife, Lisa, and family for supporting me. Um, a few days ago, somebody asked my wife, what she was going to do if I was elected to the council. And she said she was going to go shopping. But I also like to thank the Chamber of Commerce and the Wayne College for hosting this forum. It is important that our citizens get a chance to hear firsthand from the candidates of for political office. Each of us brings our own unique life experiences to the job of city council. I was born and raised in this area and I care a great deal about my community. I work at Goodrich alongside many of you, your parents, and your grandparents. When the plane shut down, I, like many others, had to make a difficult decision, and that was to leave in, in order to support myself. I retired several years ago and chose to move back to my hometown. I can't say I have all the answers, but I do have the hard time and desire and the experience that is necessary for this job. If the citizens of Ward 3 will put their faith in me, I promise I will work long and hard. Most importantly, with your help and input, we can make Miami a great place to live. Thank you. Joe? I mentioned my skills earlier and the pride of myself in being able to work through difficult issues by finding common ground with, with other people. Most importantly, I care about our community. And I'm in a place in life that I can give back by donating some of my time. Uh, I think, you know, everybody that's, that is helping me and helped me, and uh, I thank all of you for coming out. And I appreciate it, yes. and I would ask uh, for your vote, if you're in Ward 4, Southeast Ward 4, and if you don't, if you're not in Southeast Ward 4 and you know someone that is, I would appreciate your support. Thanks. Well, Neil Johnson, Joe Sharpe, thank you very much for coming out and sharing your thoughts. And on behalf of NEO and the